happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. I am a huge Star Wars nerd. I have loved the series old growing up. I got to always be Princess Leia when I was having lightsaber battles with my friends. How do we feel about my Princess Leia buns today? <laughs> I want to do something today to honor Star Wars Day and also highlight the loves of my life, which are Star Wars, obviously, but also STEAM education, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math education and engagement to empower the next generation of innovators. We're going to be doing a little bit of astronomy today. So what I'd like to talk about is something that we experience on Earth every day, gravity, right? But gravity doesn't just affect us here on Earth planets orbit around stars because of gravity. Our moon orbits around the earth because of gravity. But in our solar system, we only have one star, the sun. And it isn't the only type of star system or solar system in our wide, wide universe. There's lots of other possibilities out there. One of them is a binary star system. That occurs when two stars, similar to our sun, orbit around each other, just like how the moon orbits around the earth. These two stars create a gravitational pull like our sun, allowing them to be the center of their own solar system. And because there are two stars, you would see two suns in the sky during the day, just like on Luke Skywalker's home planet, Tatooine. So astronomers recently have found evidence of a planet outside of our solar system that is orbiting two stars. This planet, Kepler 16b, is part of a solar system much like George Lucas's fictional planet, Tatooine. So on Earth, we have one sun, and that provides us with light and heat. It holds our planet in orbit. It gives us the seasons on Earth, giving us spring, summer, autumn, winter. But how would this change if we had two suns? If the Earth were like Kepler-16b, we'd experience slightly colder temperatures because we'd be at a greater distance. Our seasons might look different. We might be covered in sand, just like Tatooine. Kepler-16b's suns are also slightly smaller than our sun. So the pull of gravity would be less and we'd have a longer year because one year counts as one revolution around the sun. And if it's a low gravitational pull, we'd be going slower. So it would be a slower calendar year. But if those two suns were the same size as our sun, then we'd have a faster orbit and a shorter year because of greater gravitational pull. Scientists aren't sure if a moon would form in this type of system. So our nights would look a little bit different our ocean tides would be affected, our sleep cycles would be affected. If you want to learn more about binary star systems or even just how the light of the day and the dark of the night affects our own sleep schedules, you can visit my website letsgofullsteamahead.com and I've attached an activity from NASA about circadian rhythms or sleep cycles and how light affects the earth. So you can go ahead and download that and do an activity. If you take any pictures or videos, go ahead and tag me on Instagram at Sierra Marie Bond. I would love to see how you celebrate Star Wars Day.